Light is commonly defined as an electromagnetic wave. But what is an electromagnetic wave? And also, what is electric and magnetic about light? To answer this question, we need to talk briefly about electric fields. But don't worry, it's going to be short. A charge placed at a given point in space will generate an electric field around it. The strength of that field at a given position is represented by a vector. The magnitude and the direction of this vector represent the magnitude and the direction of the force that would experience a positive charge of one coulomb placed at that position. Now, imagine a metallic bar and focus on one of the electrons in the bar. This electron creates an electric field around it. Then, connect the bar to a source of alternative current. The electron will move back and forth in the bar with the current. It will oscillate. And so will the direction of the electric field the electron generates. This idea is a key point. If you look at how the y component of the electric field strength vector changes with time, it is oscillating, and it can be represented by a beautiful cosine or sine curve. In the second part of the 19th century, Maxwell showed that a changing electric field generates a changing magnetic field and vice versa. So the oscillation of an electric field always generates a magnetic field that oscillates too. Let's go back to our electron. Suppose now that I choose for the alternative current a frequency of oscillation of 10 kHz. This means that the electron oscillates 10,000 times per second. And so does the electric field it generates as well as the induced magnetic field. Imagine now that I place another metallic bar in the oscillating electric field. The electrons in this bar will feel an oscillating force. Yes, they are in an electric field, so they feel a force. They will start to oscillate too. What we did here is we transmitted a signal through space. This is how radio works. Yeah, we have two antennas. The first bar is emitting the signal. The second bar is receiving the signal. When the oscillating electromagnetic field is generated by the first bar, it propagates through space at the speed of light. Yeah, the oscillating electromagnetic field is what we refer as an electromagnetic wave or EM wave. And it is also more commonly referred as light. For example, let's increase the frequency of the alternative current up to 10 trillion Hertz. The electron in the bar will oscillate at 10 trillion Hertz and so will the electric field it generates. The resultant EM wave is now infrared radiation. Let's increase the frequency a little more, up to 1 quadrillion Hertz. The metallic bar starts to glow now. It emits visible light. Did you enjoy this video? Then like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. This really helps the channel and motivates me to produce new videos. In the meantime, see you soon for another episode of Physics Made Easy.